We're back and we have celebrity photographer Leo Marshall with us. Now I want to turn our attention to some other topics and really part of the reason that I wanted to have you on. Retouching or editing is something that's prevalent when it comes to the fashion industry. Like how much do you retouch your pictures and do you have like some type of guidelines as to what you alter? Uh, when I do a photo shoot, I have guidelines because I, I try to make people look as real as possible. Some people do touch-ups where they make the skin look look plastic almost. So uh, that's something that I don't personally like. But some clients may request that that's something that I don't particularly like. So my guideline is to make skin look as real as possible. Though, um, you see it done so much in the marketplace, people think that's natural now, honestly. So you have to just be able to explain to your clients, like we don't wanna go overboard because you know high-end um, retouching takes a lot longer. And uh, that's what my company provides, so like just high-end retouching. We don't wanna to go too overboard. But it's, a, it's an amazing tool, man. Just like what you see, you know, just like in movies. You know, you, I just saw Godzilla the other day and uh, yeah, that monster wasn't there. So it's a crazy, it's just amazing what computer generated um, CGI can do so I mean, I, actually I love it you know so and so we're doing beauty shoots you know making that hair pop a little bit more adding a little bit more hair and more volume to it I love it personally I asked because recently there seems to be more conversation about the role that Photoshop and retouching has on setting uh, you know unrealistic expectation when it comes to women and beauty like what do you think about that yeah I think it has gone overboard you know because you know when I do touch-ups I try to keep it you know, and when I'm shooting a woman, I try to say your beauty is your beauty, and let's let's capture that. Um, it's not realistic to have every woman does not have that size 24 waist. Every woman does not have that particular hip. Every single woman does not have this breast size. You know, the beauty is in every single size and shape, and you try to you try to celebrate that and express that to women. You know, now if we're shooting now, here, here's the difference: if we're shooting a um, a spread and we're going for something very particular, then we go for it. You know, if it is that fashion look, if it is that beauty look, if it is that that um, that um, sexy vixen look, then we go for it. You know, but um, I don't think we have to do that in just in the commercial general market pieces. You know, and I try to keep away from that because I think it is subconsciously affecting women. You know, trying to create or maintain this beauty that's not real with their senior magazines, and you try to tell them like these women do not look like this in person. You know, it's all touched up. You try to explain that to them. So I, I personally, I feel responsible not going overboard with it. With the culture leaning more towards gotcha shots and paparazzi and for some making, you know, money, do you think that the art of photography is affected by that in any way? Do I think the art of photography is being affected by people who are trying to pick up a camera? No, I don't think so. Because the cream of the crop always rises, personally. I think if you're a great artist, you're going to pop out, personally. You can be, just like as everybody wants to be an actor since people have been shooting. So everybody wants to be an actor, but the best actors are people with talent normally rise to you know to the cream of the crop great artists and they take in their craft serious and they really study photography they're going to be hired by better publications they're going to be hired by top agencies they're going to be signed and people always need that because everybody is not looking for a um a no disrespect to a um a hyundai or um the, you know a cheaper car you know some you have different markets some people want rolls royces some people want ferraris they just have a different standard and they will not put up with nothing less. So they're, they're going after those people who are the Lamborghinis, the Bentleys. They're like, I want that. They're the best. So we just market to those people with that mindset. People say, I don't care. And some people have the mindset, I don't care, man. As long as they have a camera, I'm going to hire them. I don't care about that mindset. I'm going to go after that person. I'm not, I'm not even interested in being hired by them. But people who can get a check from them, go ahead, make your money. Take care of your family. That's the way I see it. Like, if you got a camera, you want to be a you know, photographer and you spent 200 bucks on a camera, go for it. Make a little money if you can. Speaking of advice, what advice would you give to someone who aspires to be a celebrity photographer like yourself? Well, I just say, I say to anybody, if you want to be a, a, a doctor, a lawyer, entrepreneur, businessman, or creative, take it serious. A lot of people who are in the creative world, they think too much with their right brain. Um, your right brain is your creative side. It, they have to balance that out and be analytical how I'm going to make money from my thoughts, how I will make money from my creative ideas i think that's the biggest thing because you don't have to be the best photographer you don't have to be the best singer you don't have to be the best dancer you just have to balance it out for what i'm doing how i'm going to charge somebody for this thought and a lot of people don't do that so that would really be, be my best advice is not always focusing on the craft because you can get lost in the creative thought and not knowing how to to provide for your family provide for yourself you know what i'm saying and they're giving away um, their thoughts for free, that will hurt the industry. 
You know, you know what I'm saying? Because if you're a, if you're if you're a consultant, you don't do that. For you, it may come really easy because you're an artist. You're like, oh, it's no big deal for me to share that with somebody. But that you, you God gave you that to bless people and also help take care of, of your business because that's your business. And I said, just take it serious, man. Study. Just just try to perfect your craft so you can be the best at what you are. Just don't do it as a hobby. I know some people they don't they just shoot and I really, really they don't know the. Uh, technical side of things when I talk to them. They just they just got a camera and start shooting. If you want to take it to the next level, you just have to really read the manual, study, read books, read composition, why people do certain things, and you will be better. And when you're expressing your thoughts to people, they see that you know what you're doing, they're willing to pay for that expertise. So what do you have coming up next and where can people find out more about you? Okay, well, we just did the Dream Fashion event, um, which was awesome, um, from Carl Payne, Divine Stevens, uh, who else, man? It was so many great people that came out to that. We honored um, Candy Burris um, and the um, Candy Cares Foundation, which was awesome. Um, Shante Doss, she's an awesome music executive. Um, it was a lot. It was just, I mean, we sold out, so it was really cool, man. We, we met our goals. So we're going to do another one in December. I have a few more lined up in October and August. Um, and then I have a production company. So we shoot a lot of um, beauty commercial spots, a lot of, a lot of um, infomercials. So um, I have to go to Orlando to shoot some of my big product uh, um, projects, excuse me, in Orlando for 10 days. Uh, and that is in two weeks. So I'll be out there. Then we have to be in, um, like I said, Mexico. I have to go to Mexico to shoot some stuff out there. So there's always something coming up. I have another, some sizzle reels and pilots I have to shoot on Wednesday. So we're always, what's the great thing about what I do, there's always people hitting us up and calling. So it's a blessing. Just, you know, it's just a blessing keeping and staying busy. Keeping busy and staying busy. Ladies and gentlemen, Leo Marshall, thank you for joining us. All right. Take care, man. Don't go anywhere. We still have so much more coming up with The Nick Knight Show after this. The Nick Knight Show, sponsored by Hennessy BS. Never stop, never settle.